of many, many terrible stories like that, which since we did it originally uh, 25 years ago, of course now we're seeing in Syria and Ukraine, Afghanistan, the Middle East, this, we can have set that story anywhere. And I think that's one of the reasons that the audience that is much younger and completely in it. And so it is. Yeah. Well, it's, it's more emotionally powerful. Not to drive out in the house, well, not to get husbands, you know, without giving it away. But there's a gala performance on Monday, yeah. um, which 100,000 people applied for tickets for. I don't. believe so. In a few minutes. So, but you, you've got some big news got for hard Well, we have, we have, we've we got some things that we, go, we can put back on sale um, uh, on, in, the, in the morning. Uh, I think we've got 100 seats or something like that. Right. Less, but anyone who's still really desperate to queue up at the same time. Okay. Yes. But if you can't get into the theatre, you yeah. can't hear us. You can hear it. Now that's, um, gosh, you're very good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's going up. A real BBC Radio 2. Yeah, really cool. I'm a great and wonderful Michael Ball. Yeah. Um, and, you know, therefore, uh, you know, everyone in the country will be able to take part of it, especially in which I'm doing one of my special great finales. And, uh, and I'm so thrilled that Lea Salonga uh, and, and the great Jonathan Price are going to come back and join our wonderful stars. Yes. Um, and, of course, we sign the very original Chris. But and, and just, very, just a word on people getting out to see theatre, because it really feels like the regional theatre now is incredibly vibrant. Are you finding that with your tour of the Barnum? Absolutely. Well, well Barnum just opened in Leicester last week, and um, fantastic to do, and Brian Conway is just fantastic at Cooper Barnum. And, mind you, I wonder if one day, um, when he's, he's finished with an email... Wow! Well,